Hello and welcome to Let's Play Axe Battler, A Legend of Golden Axe on the Game Gear. I'll just read out the introduction sequence. Um, long, long ago, the gods gave a gift to mortals. This gift was the Golden Axe. Um, legends say that the world will bow down to whoever takes the axe in hand. Um, countless battles took place among mortals to gain possession of the axe. Um, finally, the king became full of sorrow and hid the axe deep in his castle where no one could find it. Um, peace once again returned to the world. After many years had passed and the name of the axe was forgotten, an army of evil warriors destroyed the castle and stole the golden axe. Um, the peace-loving king called on a young warrior to regain the axe. In doing so, he entrusted the fate of the world to the warrior. Um, guided by love and courage, the warrior started on his lonely journey. His name was... Axe Battler. A Legend of Golden Axe. Alright, um, Sega 1992. Um, this is a very easy RPG, which is a spin-off of the Golden Axe series. Um, lots of the characters from the Golden Axe series, especially the first game, um, make an appearance here. Um, there are two modes of play. There's an overworld, which is just like any other RPG. And then uh, sometimes you have to go inside a cave, a woods, or or a dungeon or a castle and the game turns into an action game like this. Um, some of them are easy, some of them are hard. And the overworld is just pretty linear, you just go from town to town collecting items. Um, when you're in the overworld and, and you're not in a town, um, you'll have random encounters with monsters. Uh, the annoying thing about them is that if you get hit once, you lose health but the battle ends. Um, so you have to defeat every monster um, without getting hurt. Along the way you can learn different attacks and things, but uh, you can complete this game in a couple of hours. Um, it's more or less easy. Alright, with that explained we can, uh, we can play. Just have to uh, skip through this by pressing the start button. There we go. Okay, let's press the start button. Okay, we want new game. Um, I'll be playing for about half an hour or so, or 40 minutes, something like that, and then I'll get a password and continue the game. I might be able to do the whole game in two parts or three parts, it depends how long I take, really. Okay, new game. Crash, thump, it's the enemy. They're attacking, clash, bang. Save the golden axe, protect it with your lives. Your Majesty, something terrible has happened. I must report that the legendary Golden Axe has been stolen by the evil army. Oh no, this is dreadful news. The world will fall to pieces with the Golden Axe in the wrong hands. Somebody, summon the only man who can save us. Call Axe Battler. Your Majesty, I already know what I must do. I must get the Golden Axe back from the evil army and restore peace to our world. So long. Okay, now we can play the game. Um, I'll just note, because it just reminded me actually, that I'm, I'm having to play this game on Fusion 3.63, which is the previous version. Um, the latest version is 3.64, this is 3.63, so it's just the one before um, 2009. Um, the latest version is 2010. Um, I'm having to play it on the previous version because for some reason on 3.64, the latest version, um, the sprites don't appear. You can still play the game and move around, it's just the axe battler and all the people are invisible for some reason, which, uh, which renders the game a lot more difficult than it should be. Um, I actually tried playing it like that and it, wouldn't, and it, and it wasn't very easy. Um, yeah, so I'm having to play this on 3.63. I don't know why that is. I only found out that it works with 3.63 because... Well, I already knew it did because I completed this game years ago with 3.63. Um, I do own the game on Game Gear, but I can't be bothered to get it out and everything. Um, yeah, so I knew it worked. So I just looked up a solution to see if I could get it working on 3.64, and I can't. So um, yeah, the forum for Fusion suggested that... Um, um, suggested that players use 3.63, which, which is what I'm using. Anyway, so um, in the overworld, we can uh, press the button and we can talk 
um, look at items or, or we can use a search function. Um, luckily the search function is only used in a couple of places. Uh, we don't have to go around every single square pressing search in the hopes of finding something. That doesn't happen. Um, so let's talk to a few people. Um, what are you waiting for? Is something troubling you? We have high hopes for you. Ok, let's talk to this guard. I want to go to the city that I can see to the south of the cave, but it's surrounded by mountains. Ok. What does this person say? It's important to ask many questions before an adventure. There is sure to be new information in the towns you visit. Okay, let's go up and talk to this person. If there's someone here, yes, he's inside the bed. I can't get to where he is. Um, he's inside the bed. I have heard that horrible enemies lie in wait outside of the castle. Please be careful. Yeah, if you ever walk in the overworld outside a town or castle, um, there are random enemy encounters which we need because we need the magic vases they give us. Um, magic vases are used as currency and they're also used for magic like in the normal Golden Axe games. What does this person say? I want to play outside of the castle but they won't let me because there are strange creatures outside. It's so boring in here. That's why we're about to leave. Okay, one more person to talk to up here. Um, I am so worried about you that I don't know what to do. Please return to us safely. Um, this person, before you get to the next town, if you ever die, though infinite continues by the way, um, uh, not before you die, after you die, if you do die, um, you end up here. Um, you can just start again from here. It doesn't reset the game, It just you just have to carry on from here and get to the cave from here again. You don't lose any items or anything, or any money, I think. Um, you might lose money, but I don't know how much. I haven't, I haven't died in this for a long time, so, so I'm unsure about that. Um, when we get to the next town, after that we'll get, if we die, we'll get transported to the password house. He'll give us a password, so we'll get transported there. Even if we don't get a password, um, it'll still restore us there if we die. Um, so let's go down. Okay, a couple of people to talk to here. Far to the east of this castle, there's a creepy cave. I wonder what's in there. This is the castle of the Kingdom of Firewood. Leave the defence of this castle to us. Okay, so um, once we leave here, we'll, um, we're, we're actually heading to the cave, because inside the cave is a bomb, because we need the bomb to get to the next town. So we just have to do the cave. Um, so when I leave here, there's, um, so I'm just going to go on my way to the, uh, um, to the cave um, and have random battle encounters on the way, which I'll show you. Okay, um, yeah, here's the first random battle encounter. He's pretty easy, um, just hit him and then run away a bit. There we go. And then every time we kill an enemy, we have to go through this rigmarole. The enemy was destroyed, axe battler found one magic vases. Um, the only thing that changes is how many vases you find. If that enemy hit me, the, the, the battle is forfeited and you just lose a bit of health. We have three bits of health. Um, each split into two. It goes from blue to orange, so there are six health points in total that that you have. Um, yeah, so every time we get hit, we lose one of them. I, I mean, some stronger enemies will take off more. I think um, the only way to get health is to go to an inn in a town. There are no health pickups whatsoever, which is quite annoying. Um, yeah, and the uh, a nice touch is that depending on what terrain you are, whether it's grass, trees, desert, or or, or something else, the background of the battle encounters will change. So that's quite a nice touch. And you can actually walk on the trees, although there is a barrier surrounding it. Is the only point in doing this is, is just to get magic vases. There's, there's nothing around here that you need. Um, so we have to go through this rigmarole again. Yeah. So there are three blue bars and each one has two health points in it so you have six health points in total after that you die and you end up at the last sort of save point either the password room of a town password house or if you haven't made it to, to the town yet it will take you back to that woman that we saw in the castle anyway so there's just mountains above so you can't get past them um, 
Oh, oh, and this one will have the desert background or sort of nearby. Oh, it's a skeleton. Yes, yeah, so the skeletons are harder. The way to deal with them is like that. And they'll jump. Oh, he got me. Yes, yeah, sometimes you won't see a skeleton until much later in the game. Uh, sometimes you see them early, so it depends. Anyway, we want to make it. Uh, we want to make it to that town, but it's blocked off. So we need a bomb to blow up one of the mountains from below. That one in the bottom right corner, you can see. So um, I'll just get another another random battle encounter because I want another magic vase. The skeletons are tricky, but once you learn the patterns of the enemies, they get easier. Uh, it's another barbarian. Yeah, skeletons are rare here, but they do appear. Ideally, at this stage in the game, you want the barbarians because they're easier. But um, if you know how to handle skeletons, it doesn't matter if you do get them. Anyway, let's go inside the cave. Okay, here we have to, um, yeah, the game changes. This is the, the the 2D part of the game. We have to make it to the end because that's where the bomb is. Along the way, we have to kill enemies. So if, the bats are actually annoying here, and the skeletons are really easy, um, which is surprising because they're normally hard in the other parts of the game and in other Golden Axe games. The main thing here is, is the uh, are the bats. They are tricky, so hit immediately to get them. And again, that's it. That's it. Best to keep up here, so there we go. Another bat. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, these annoyances. Right. Okay, wait for them to shoot and then go and get them. I think they need a couple of hits or three hits, something like that. No, two hits. There we go. Another one. That's it. Okay, drop down. Oh, that's annoying. Oh. That's it. I'm nearly out of health. That's it. Another bat. There we go. That should be it. There we go. And we have the bomb. Axe Battler found a bomb in the treasure chest. Okay, so that's pretty much the first place done now. We don't have to go back there. Another barbarian. I'm glad, actually. Don't let him hit you, because... You know, even though uh, what I'm saying is, don't get complacent. If you, um, you know, don't think he's too easy because he could hit you and that'll be it, and then the battle was over, and then you could lose a health points, and you don't want to do that because getting them back is quite expensive. Now uh, the inns, the first inn will charge four magic vases to to heal you. Then after that, I think they go up to 14 or 16 or something eventually as you go through the game. Okay, so we can't cross rivers. Uh, we haven't seen an Amazon yet. They're slightly harder than the barbarians, but not as hard as the skeletons. Right. You can't heal yourself in the castle, so that's uh, so don't bother. It, it, you only go there if you die. So we have to go to the town. Um, we have to cross a bridge. I think every time we cross a bridge, we have to have a, a random battle encounter, which sometimes is a skeleton. It's more, I think it's more likely to be a skeleton. Yeah, this will always be a random battle. It'll actually show it will actually show you on a bridge. Oh here we are, there's an Amazon. Slightly harder, just that's it. That's it. Eventually we get more powerful attacks that we can use, you know. This is the weakest attack at the moment. Okay, what do we get for that one? We get another one, right. Okay, um head to the right, wanna to get to the town as soon as possible for health reasons. It's just up here. There'll be a random attack on the, uh, well, not really random, but you know what I mean, an attack on the bridge, because it always is. Okay. Okay, now um, face the mountain. I think you have to face the mountain anyway, and use the bomb. Axe Battler threw the bomb toward the mountain, and it explodes a whole mountain with one bomb. Head through there, and then go into the town. It looks like there are two towns, but there's only one. Whichever one you head in, you always end up here. Anyway, now we're in a town. Okay, this is the city of Firewood. Who are you? How did you get here? Alright. That's um, training. We we'll, won't do that just yet. I just want to heal myself first. What, who's in here? A man. Have you been to the tower on the peninsula? If you plan to go there, you should go through training first. Yes, I will do. I think the training first training gives us high jump. 
that's the first uh, thing we can do, which isn't really an attack, but it does help within the uh, 2D portions of the game. What's in here? Oh yeah, I hate these ones, you have to go all the way around to talk to someone. Right. If you go through training, you can gain new powers, but I've heard that it's really tough. Well, she heard incorrectly because it's actually extremely easy. All it is is a random encounter uh, with a particular enemy, and they're usually easy. Okay, password. This will give us a password, so if, if you die now, then you'll end up at this one. Uh, this is the place where you can learn the password to bring you back to life. If you memorize it, it's sure to come in handy someday. Password, blah, 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 we don't need one yet. You can just go back, that doesn't cost anything or anything. Okay, who's this? I heard that you blew up a whole mountain. Now I can travel to other cities. Thank you. Uh, he was. Uh, the whole town was cut off from the rest of the world until I blew up a mountain. Okay, into the inn. This is where we heal. You can rest here. Do you want a room? It will cost four magic vases. Yes, have a nice stay. And all I want to do is heal myself. I wish they combined the password with the healing like they did in Wonderboy Monster World, but they didn't, so you have to go through this rigmarole to heal yourself. Um, good luck. Right, now we can leave. Okay, is there anything at the top? Oh yeah, there's this person to talk to. Yeah, talk to him. Ah, help! There are ghosts in that tower. I only wanted to find the treasure. Yeah, there are ghosts in the next ta in the next place we have to visit. They're pretty easy once you learn how to get them. Okay, let's do the training. There's different music in here. This is a place where you can train to gain special powers. Do you want to go through training? Yes, no, yes. Um, good, then go inside this room. It's just uh, an encounter. Oh, it's with a Neo Barbone. These ones will jump, but they're more or less as easy. And they have a little bit more health. There we go. If you ever lose, he'll just um, he'll castigate you. Whoops, yeah. It, it'll show you what he does. I'll show you what he does when he, uh, he lose. Worthless chump, come back again when you're better prepared. And you can go back whenever you want. You don't, and it's you can go back on your own this time. It, you know, uh, before it it automatically controlled the player to go in there. Come here. There we go. And he'll jump. There we go. And then one more. There we are, and he's, he's finished. Well done, you've passed. I'll give you a special power. This is the high jump power. Push the lever up, he means uh, the directional button. Push the lever up and you will be able to jump high in the air. Okay. Yeah, you have to push up with jump, he doesn't say that. Okay, so now we can do that in the, in the 2D modes of the game, which is uh, the battles or the 2D levels. Anyway, um, I won't heal myself again because it's a waste of money, so I'll leave now. And we're now on our way, not to the tower yet. There's one more place to visit before we go to the tower. Uh, we have to go to the village, another village. Anyway, so, uh, so let's go there. Okay, so we're on our way to uh, Turtle Village. We have to do an uh, encounter here. Oh good, it's just a barbarian. Sometimes it's a skeleton. I'll be seeing more skeletons later. Okay, so now go to Turtle Village. There's nothing else around here, just go straight to the village if you can. There we go, good. Okay, I won't use the inn, I don't need it. Okay, go in this house and talk to this person in here. Have you been to the Tower by the Sea? That tower is called Peninsula Tower. Yeah, we're going there after we do this town. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you go off the edge in a town like that, you just leave the town, so you just have to go back in again. Except when you go back in, you always end up at the bottom. Okay, yeah, they're Bizarrians from the first Golden Axe game, uh, the chicken leg ones. The ones in the overworld are nice, and the ones you see in the 2D world are nasty, like the ones you see in Altered Beast. They make a cameo appearance in that game, and they're nasty, you have to fight them. So in this game, the, the ones in 2D world are also nasty, but these ones are nice. This one you can actually talk to for some reason. Um, you want to cross the sea, right? Then go find the crystal. Yeah, the crystal's in a tower. Once you get it, go talk to him again and he'll explain how to use it if you don't know how to. Anyway, go up here. And you can talk to these bizarrians as well, except they don't really say much. Um, tweet, 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 tweet. And then uh, this one says tweet, tweet, tweet as well. Tweet, 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 tweet. Okay, go in this house. I think this is the one who explains about Turtle Village and what it is. Remember Turtle Village from the first Golden Axe game? 
This town is called Turtle Village. Its name comes from the ancient legend that our people crossed the sea on a giant turtle and settled here. Okay, I'm not going to get a password or do an in because I've only lost one bit of health. I don't need it. Uh, so I'll just do the training, then I'll leave. Okay, this is automatic walking, by the way. If you fail, then you can walk yourself in here. But the training in here is um, a Neo Amazon. Yes, I do. Okay, then go inside this room. Neo Amazons are more or less like normal Amazons, really. Except they have one more health point. Um, the Neo Barbarians are harder than Barbarians because they can jump and normal Barbarians can't. But, but both Neo Amazons and normal Amazons can jump, so they're just harder because of the health point, really. Well done, you passed. I'll give you a special power. This is the upper swing power. Try attacking while you are crouched. This power will surely come in handy someday. Yeah, um, it's more powerful, so it will take off more health, so it's nice and handy for um, for the battles in the 2D world. Anyway, with that done, we can now go to the to the tower, which is just over on the left. There's nothing else in this place at all. Don't bother exploring. There's nothing else. Just go straight to the tower. Okay, random battle encounter. It's a barbarian. Whoops, forgot to do the upper swing. There we go. Um, it didn't illustrate it there well because I got him normally, but it would have taken all his health up in one go. So hopefully I'll get another encounter. Yep, I'll... here's one. So one hit and he's dead. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go all the way to the tower now. I was about to say. That's it. Two hits and he's done. Or well, she's done rather. Straight in the tower. Okay. Now these enemies they only come alive after you walk past them. If you get them normally, they need two hits. Otherwise, use the crouching attack and they only need one. So get them with the crouching one. Otherwise, they get trickier. You know, uh, they actually can hurt you quite easily. Their attacks are really long ranged. The lift only appears when you kill all the enemies in the area. Okay. Now these ghosts, you can only hit them when they're not flashing. That's when they're trying to attack you like that. And they always have the same pattern. Now swoop in the same place. Um, so just remember where they do it. So just wait here and then do the down attack like that and they're done that's it, that one done okay now go up whoops never mind, just wait here um, wait here for this one is that one done, wait here no it missed, just wait here for that one again, the one on the far left no I missed again, you have to time it that's it, okay, this one. Okay, one more. No, it missed him. Just wait here, really. It's the best place. You can't use the lift until you kill all these little critters. There we are, done. Okay, up here, there's more of those um, statues that come alive again. So, exactly the same strategy. Walk past and duck and hit. Nice and easy. There we go. Lift only appears again once you kill them. Okay, here we'll be seeing a lot of these enemies. You can only hit them when they're not a ball and, you know, the later ones are orange but they're the same. But they get more annoying because they're in awkward locations. So just wait here and upswing and that's him done. Okay, these things will hurt if they fall on you. The portcullises, I mean. So don't let the portcullises um, fall on you. Okay, here, just do that, and he's done. Okay, here there are bombs. They go in the same pattern, middle then left. So just um, time your attack. He needs two hits. So just time your attacks like that, and he's done. Another portcullis. Whoops, it actually got me. Okay, here we want to use magic. Um, magic is used with the magic vases that you pick up. Um, the earth magic, you, ha you can't select the magic in the 2D world, you have to select it in the overworld. Earth magic is worth, you have to use two magic vases. Uh, thunder magic, you have to use four. And fire magic, you have to use eight, which is in contradiction to how it was in normal Golden Axe, in which the thunder was the weakest one, um, and the earth one was the middle one, and the fire one was the one that, that you used the most. Uh, or you could use the most, was more powerful if you had more vases. Um, it, this one, the earth, is the weakest. So just press start and use one. Um, and you'll use two magic vases. I think you have to use two. Because it doesn't kill it first time. Because we chose the uh, the earth one. It's, uh, that's the, the, uh, the default one. Anyway, uh, they're finished. I think there's two of them. There might be one, but there's two bombs coming down there. They're awkward. Anyway, here's the crystal that we're after. 
Axe Battler found a crystal in the treasure chest. Okay, with that done, let's go all the way back to Turtle Village. Oh yeah, I'll just show you this first of all. Yeah, we can choose magic here. So Thunder is worth four, Fire's eight, and Earth is two. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on the uh, Earth one. Near the attack, the list of attacks we have. We have the high jump and the upper swing. Yeah, you can't get them while they're flashing. Uh, another encounter just before the village. You don't actually need a upper swing there because it's, you know, it's, it's a waste really. You don't really need it because you need one health point off. Um, okay, into the turtle village. Talk to the bizarrean again, and then he'll explain what to do with the crystal. Don't use the crystal on him. Just talk to him. He knows you have the crystal, so just talk to the bizarrean. You found it. Try going to the seashore and throwing it into the sea. Okay. Okay, so just go here. Um, now, uh, just press the uh, press button to use the item, the crystal. There we go. We still have the bomb for some reason. Axe battler threw the crystal into the sea, and then Turtle Village appears. Now we have to do Turtle Village. This is slightly harder. Um, there's no way out. Oh, by the way, there's no way out of these uh, 2D worlds. You have to do them or die. Oh yeah, they reappear. Very careful here. Wait for this thing. There we go. Yeah, they're they're annoying. This thing will come down eventually. I'll just get him now. I'll try and get him now. There we go. Yeah, the bird. Just ignore the bird. Just go to the left a bit when they attack. Right, he's coming up. Yeah, that was annoying because it was um, simultaneously. Coming up, there we go. I hope I don't die here. No, he's gone. Another bird, no. No, he's gone, good. Being a bit careful here because I don't want to die. Good. Good, that's the end of that. Good. I'm glad I didn't die there. I nearly died. I forgot to use the um I forgot to go to the inn after I uh uh just before I got onto Turtle Village, so I'm lucky I didn't die there. But um if I had gone to the inn it would have been easier. Anyway. Just shows you how easy it is, really. Um, okay, this is. Uh, I'll use the inn now because I'm nearly dead. Yeah, it costs six magic vases now. Alright, what do we have to do here? Various things. Passwords there. Won't get that just yet. It's training. I am the woman warrior in charge of defending Sand Marrow. It must be this place. I'm worried about what's going on. Okay, let's do the training now. This is a place where you can train to gain special powers. Do you want to go through training? Yes, good. Then go inside this room. I think it's a skeleton this time. Yep, it is. Right. That's a normal skeleton. Uh, they obviously consider them hard enough. I think the next one we see is a Neo skeleton. Right, one more. That's it, done. Yeah, I entered Turtle Vision, only three health points. Well done, you've passed. I'll give you a special power. This is the jump swing power. This will give you a powerful attack while jumping. Okay, it's not really useful for the battles. It's mainly useful when you're in the um, in the 2D level, so you can have a more powerful attack while jumping. In the battles, it's not really useful because you risk touching the enemy while jumping into them. So I'd only recommend it for the 2D levels. Anyway, in here. Right, someone to talk to. What does she say? 
That is a dangerous desert called the Desert of Death. It scares me. Yeah, that's the next 2D level we have to do, and it's really easy because there's a sort of cheat glitch thing. I don't know if they meant to put it in, but it works. Um, my master went into the Desert of Death and never returned. Don't you think you should reconsider? No, because it's extremely easy. Right. All the way down. We have to go all the way round to talk to that guard. There's the inn again. Okay, talk to the guard. Did you come here to find the treasure in the Pyramid 2? If you find it, you you better share it with me. Alright. In here. Okay, we have to go all the way round. Nice and awkward. When I was young, I went into the Desert of Death to find the treasure there. I had no idea where to find what I was looking for. Okay, um, so now we're on our way to the Desert of Death. Um, yeah, after I do the Desert of Death and get what's in there, I'll get a password and stop the video. So I'm just on my way to the Desert of Death now. Okay, so now we're on our way to the Desert of Death. Um, the encounter, or oh, Neo Amazon. This should give me um, a two vases, even though it's just as easy as a normal Amazon. Yep, two vases. Whoops. Okay, now we're going to the uh, to the desert of death. No, another encounter. Ah, a bad brother. Okay, this strategy is more or less the same as the um, as the skeleton, except it's slightly harder. They'll shoulder barge you and things, but um, yeah. They are easy, really. I just can't remember the strategy. Okay, anyway, here's the Desert of Death, just those two mounds you saw. Okay, in here, you can either bother going inside the pyramid and doing all that nonsense and killing all the enemies, but there's nothing to be gained if you do that. Um, you don't get any vases from, from killing the enemies. Yeah, there's a Bizarrean that you have to kill this time. There's nothing to be gained from going in here. I mean, you can do it, it's just awkward. You have to go through up all the levels and everything, and eventually you get to the top. But, if you want to cheat, you can just go through all the way up here, and then when you go through there, you'll make it to the uh, uh, to where the key is. And that's it. You don't even have to bother going through the pyramid, all that rigmarole. Nothing's to be gained if you do, unless you, you want to be a, a hard nut and go through the pyramid without cheating. But there's no advantage in doing it at all. You'll just lose health. Um, most likely, and eventually you'll get to the top and you'll go inside this room. But you, you can just climb the pyramid and get in there without doing that. I don't know if they meant to put that in or not, but it's, it happens. Whether it's a glitch, I don't know, but it works. Anyway, the end result is always the same. The only thing in there is the key, so there's no point going in the pyramid. Unless you want to be a hard nut. Axe Battler found a key in the treasure chest. Okay, so that's that done. So now I'm going to get a password from Sand Marrow. Alright, another Neo Amazon. Hopefully I'll see another bad brother I can practice on it. Oh, it's a skeleton. No, come here. There we are. I think the bad brothers give you three magic vases, although I'm not sure. Hopefully this will be another one, otherwise I'll see one in the next video. No, it's another... Another Neo Amazon. There we go. Okay, back to San Maro. Nope, another one. Another skeleton. So you see, once you know it's pattern, you're more comfortable with it, then you can do the upper swing. Which is why I did it. Because I knew it wouldn't jump there. Oh, another one. Used to have loads of vases now, I suppose. Okay, I'll just heal myself and I'll get a password. I mean, you can see how easy this game is now.
Okay, so thanks for watching part one of Let's Play Axe Battle, a Legend of Golden Axe on the Game Gear. Part two, I'll continue on from the Desert of Death, or from this village, get to the next village and carry on from there, really. Um, oh, wait a minute, I was just going to talk... I just want to see if you can talk to that, uh, that guard who said if you find the treasure. Can't, can't remember if he says anything or not. Did you come here to find the treasure in the Pyramid 2? If you find it, oh no, no, he doesn't say anything at all. No. Nope. Anyway, let's get a password. This is the place where you can learn the password to bring you back to life. If you memorised it, it's sure to come in handy someday. Password, blah blah blah. Okay, so thanks for watching. In part two, I'll continue on from here. Might complete it in the next part, might not. But I'll definitely have it completed by three parts. Um, yeah, I'll definitely have it completed by then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in part two. Bye bye.